Well, it's crazy, really, because as soon as there's a date set, and then the public and people in general hold back on their spending a few pounds, and next thing is shoved out again. And then we have a deal which was purported to be true a couple of weeks ago, and now it's shoved back again So in the general election, so no one knows what the outcome's going to be. But it doesn't do business any good. There's an awful lot of probably uncertainty is the, the way to put it. And when there's uncertainty, people don't like to spend a few pounds because they don't know what's around the corner. And we went through a serious recession there maybe 10 years ago, like, and we worked our way through that. So no one wants to go through that again. And hopefully something will come out of it with this general election and that the thing can be put to bed one way or the other. So. Well, it's, it's, it's around planning it would be the big issue and for example how do you price contracts that you might be negotiating at the moment for next year and a lot of companies would be in that space at this particular point of time and it's difficult to know what the price on the basis of what will the tariffs be after the 31st of January, what will the exchange rate be after the 31st of January and what other potential barriers would they face post the 31st of January. And having been, been led through this twice already and now looking to a third deadline, it's so costly and so disruptive, the temptation is just not to bother to stockpile. And it's harder now to make the argument that this will actually be, be happening because they were, were, uh, there was such a strong message that, you know, die in a ditch, we are leaving. You know, however it happens, it, it will happen. You know, and we're leaving on, on the 31st. Well, now we're not leaving on the 31st. The, the extensions are causing hassle with customers because they're seeing, uh, they don't know what's going on, so instead of spending money, they're holding back. Not spending the money and waiting to see what happens and waiting and waiting and waiting and it keeps putting the job back and putting it back and putting it back. That's hard, that's, and that has a knock-on effect on all the business. It has a knock-on. I am one part of it, there's another guy does this and another guy does that. It's having an effect on us all. And that's just because people are afraid to spend the money 